Is Sholo Maridwenia still dating his co-star? And who has a steady long-term boyfriend? And who's married to his childhood sweetheart? Sholo Maridwenia as Miguel Diaz. This guy is a fighter, huh? And the new season proves it once again. Sholo had to train a lot to play Miguel because he had only done some martial arts in primary school and played tennis and basketball for sports. I figured, I'm athletic, so it should be okay. But the body parts and muscles that you use are so, so different than the movements from tennis and running, Sholo admitted. The actor prepared for four months, but interestingly, most of his training wasn't karate-focused. We train with stretching and boxing, I would say, 70-80% to 80 of the time. The rest of that is karate, he said. Sure, the preparation was hard, but it was worth it. After all, Sholo is a star now. But he didn't only find fame on the set of Cobra Kai, he also found a girlfriend. Sholo is dating Hannah Keppel, who plays Moon in the series. The actress herself confirmed the rumors about their relationship. Season 1, we were already friends. A little flirty, and then we started talking after season 1, and it clicked, Hannah said. This is how love works. They didn't even have many scenes together in the series, but they still found each other. We have no idea what the status of Sholo and Hannah's relationship is now, because they don't share much with their fans. But since they deleted all their photos together, fans are worried that they've broken up. But the good thing is that they still follow each other on social media. So let's hope that this lovely couple is still together, and they just decided to keep their relationship off the radar. If you want to learn all the latest news about the Cobra Kai cast and other awesome celebs, subscribe to The Catcher and don't forget to ring the bell to get notifications about new exciting content. Tanner Buchanan as Robbie Keane This guy also became famous due to Cobra Kai, but Tanner doesn't worry about fame at all. I mean, he's not even recognized in the streets due to the pandemic. If I go out, I have a mask on. I usually wear a hat too. There's no way of knowing it's me, the actor said. It's probably lovely being in such a fantastic show, but not having to worry about any extra attention or nosy paparazzi following you around. Tanner certainly likes it that he's managed to retain his privacy up until now. After all, he's not too keen on sharing details about his personal life. There were rumors that he was dating his Cobra Kai co-star, Mary Mauser, who plays Sam LaRusso, but they're actually just friends. Reportedly, Tanner is now dating actress and model Liz Broadway. They were seen cozying up at the 2019 Comic-Con and spotted a few more times together, but now we don't know anything for sure about their relationship. Even the couple photos that Tanner and Liz had on their Instagram accounts have been deleted. Tanner only left this beautiful post captioned, what do you do when the person you love comes to visit? How cute! So, did the lovebirds split, or did they just decide to keep their relationship as private as possible? We won't know until they decide to tell us. Mary Mauser as Samantha LaRusso Moving on to the LaRusso family. The Cobra Kai series opened up a lot of doors for Mary, but the thing she likes most about her newfound fame is being able to say, hey, Hey, remember Daniel LaRusso, the dude who shaped so many people's lives and childhoods and adulthoods and all these aspects of your life? I get to play his daughter. <laughs> yeah, that must be truly amazing. So this girl seems to be having the time of her life. Not only is Mary now famous and successful, but her personal life is also doing great. She's been with her boyfriend, Brett Pierce, for five years, and they're doing awesome. In fact, the guy is also an actor. You could have seen him in the pop TV series, This Just In. Unlike her Cobra Kai co-stars, Mary is pretty open about her personal life, and she often posts lovely photos of her and Brett together, looking all sweet and happy. Besides that, they also make vlogs together and have a YouTube channel. In one of their videos, Mary and Brett recalled how they met. It's actually a sweet story. They found each other at Mary's best friend's birthday party. As soon as she saw him, she said to her friend that he was cute, and that gal made it her mission to set them up together. What can we say? The mission was obviously accomplished successfully. The two of them couldn't be happier. And this year, she also wrote Brett a birthday tribute, saying, You are my balance, my excitement, my magic, my rage, my sweet and my eternal love. Too cute. Peyton List as Tori Nichols This girl couldn't be happier about the show's popularity because she always wanted to be an actress. And now she is really famous. I was that kid who dreamed about being an actress and would put on shows around the house or edit short films with my friends, Peyton shared. I always loved getting to express myself through a character. And she did come toward her dream very actively. Despite being only 22, she already has quite an extensive filmography. Peyton doesn't only act, she also loves recording music. She knows how to play the violin and the acoustic guitar. Does she have any time for her personal life then, you might ask? Well, it's hard to say, actually. Peyton used to date the shameless actor Cameron Monaghan. They met on the set of the indie drama Anthem of a Teenage Prophet in 2017. Back then, Peyton was happy to meet someone she could share her struggles with. He's so understanding, which is so nice, and I am too, the actress once shared. We're always like, if work comes up, that's fine. That comes first. 
They were very private about their relationship, but they looked lovely together, so fans were happy for them. Despite the fairy tale like beginning of their relationship, Peyton and Cameron broke up in January 2019. It's still unclear what exactly caused the split. Peyton never publicly addressed it, while Cameron only made a post on Twitter thanking her for their two year relationship and wishing her happiness no matter what. And ever since, Peyton hasn't dated anyone else, or at least she didn't tell the public about it. Let's hope that soon she'll find her prince. Jacob Bertrand as Hawk Moskowitz In an interview with CBR, this actor made quite a prediction about Cobra Kai Season 3. Season 3 gets a little darker for Hawk because he does end up facing a lot of those inner demons head on, Jacob said. Whoa! And what do you think about his character development? To prepare for his role, Jacob had to train a lot for a couple of months. They kicked our butts but got us in great shape, the actor said about his teachers and stunt coordinators. Since the actors did most of their stunts by themselves, there were some mishaps on the set. For example, once Jacob got punched in the face by Sholo. And it wasn't even a fight scene. But, well, I don't think that he got too upset. After all, in real life, Jacob isn't anything like his Cobra Kai character. He's funny and adorable. And he's also a loving boyfriend. His girlfriend is Serena Pullen. He used to post a lot of photos of them together, but now he doesn't. The last one was the one congratulating her on her birthday weeks and weeks ago. Does this mean that they're no longer together? We actually have no idea because Jacob is quite a private guy. And now, let's talk about the older squad. Old School Dojo When William Zabka isn't playing Johnny Lawrence, he loves spending time with his wife, Stacy. Billy and Stacy have been married for 12 years, but it's pretty much all we know about them because they keep their private life under wraps. Oh, and one more thing. They have two kids together. I wonder if he taught them any karate. Ralph Macchio, aka Daniel LaRusso, is doing great in his personal life too. He's been married to his childhood sweetheart, Phyllis, for 33 years. They met when Ralph was only 15. It was at his cousin's birthday party in his grandmother's house. Talk about a wholesome beginning of a relationship, huh? And they're still going strong. The actor once shared with Men's Journal, From the earliest days as teenagers, we've just believed that this was meant to be. Even at the toughest times, that is what we believe, that we are meant to be together. Wow, isn't that amazing? Moving on! Can you believe that before Courtney Hengella landed the role of Amanda, she was ready to quit acting? See, she had just had a baby and was thinking of focusing on being a mom. But her husband reminded her that they were going to get their health insurance through her acting job and persuaded her to keep on doing it until they worked out another plan. So it looks like we owe him a huge thank you. Speaking of Courtney's husband, his name is Ross Kahn and they've been married for five years. Ross is a producer and also an actor. Although he's not as high profile as his wife, you can spot his cameos in Supernatural and Veronica Mars. He also owns a movie making company, Indie Entertainment. Courtney and Ross have two kids together and as Courtney revealed on Father's Day, he's the best person to ever make babies with. That's quite an announcement, right? And finally, Martin Cove, who plays John Kreese, is in a relationship with Mary Scavo Squire, the CEO of River Park Executive Suites. They regularly share adorable photos on their Instagram accounts. They look happy, don't they? In the past, Cove was married to another woman and they had twins together. They got divorced after 20 years of marriage but still keep in touch. Seeing how happy Martin is now with his new love, we can guess that it certainly was for the better. Whose personal life details surprised you the most? What else would you like to know about your favorite show and its superb cast? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to see more cool content.